City, where are we going? Um, out of the dream. Where are we going, to Bahamas? Yeah. What's up, everybody? We are on the new 42. Like we said, this is our dream boat. And uh, we've come a long way from the B&M, but we still got a lot of love for the old girl. That's where we started right there, the 34 Crusader. But here's where we're at today. And as you can see, we got a lot of stuff on the boat. We got Yetis on here. We got a pool mat, which is really like an ocean mat. We got lots of rods and reels. Everything is packed to the brim. All the coolers are full. Check out the bait boxes right here. Load it up. We got squid. We got gum. We got everything. So my buddy Jeff, he got a place in the Bahamas. He invited us over. He's on the boat with us. He said, dude, come on over there. We got Frank and Helen. We got Jocelyn. We got the girls. We got fresh chocolate chip cookies right there. I can't wait to eat those. I'm gonna smash those cookies right there. We got Sassy Sarah. One last cleaning. We made this boat dirty, look at this. The boat is dirty. Yeah. We're on the new 42 Freeman. We've only got a few hours on it. You know, it caught some lobsters, but uh, this is our big maiden voyage. We got Chum back here as well. The other one's back there. We're gonna tie that mat down up there. I mean, this thing is loaded up. Sadie got a new doll. We got the double row seating. That's what's my favorite thing about this new boat is just the comfort on here with these seats is gonna be really good. We got the screens and all in here. Check this thing out here, it is loaded down. We got food in here, we got pineapples there, we got drinks, we got Cheez-Its. We got everything, we got dirty footprints everywhere still. We got water, we got bananas, we got an anchor down there. We got Frank here, we got Jocelyn. Sassy's on cleanup duty. This side's loaded down too. And this is probably the heaviest this boat will ever be. There's 800 gallons of fuel on it. This thing is packed to the top. And as you know, these Freemans have a ton of storage. So it is packed down tight. Here we go. And we got our tools. You know, we, we didn't have a hook on this boat yesterday. So we've been loading it up all day yesterday, all morning this morning. We got this right here. We got tools in here, we got leads in there, we got water tanks. This boat has two fresh water tanks. Why don't we put that back in the live well? We're gonna put the hose in the live well, I suppose. Fit in there. We ran out of cooler space, I got a little bit of bait in there too. That's going in there. We're going on an adventure. You ready, Jocelyn? Ready. She actually made a YouTube channel, so give her a follow. I actually have videos, yes, go follow. She has a couple of videos up, and there might be more by the time this video comes out, so check out her channel. Jocelyn Marzella, hopefully I said that right. It's time to go, we're way below the waterline. We've been working on the waterline because we want to bottom paint the boat, so you can see all the algae. And we're already about two inches above that, so we're a lot heavier than the boat's been. Hopefully you can see that there. And this is the heavy load on the boat, so we got 225 miles to go, and we're going to the Bahamas. Eleuthera is where we're headed. It is rough, it's windy, but when you plan these trips out three or four months in advance, you can't control the weather. There is a storm coming. It's predicted to be a tropical storm, but it looks like it's going to stay on the south side of us. It may hit the Keys though, so in three, four or five days, Bud and Mary's may be uh, battening down the hatches if it looks like a tropical storm. Hopefully it weakens, but we'll see. So we're getting ready to take off now. The wind's blowing. It's blowing 15 to 20 knots. It's going to be a rough ride. We got to go into a head sea straight into it. Hate the angle, but that's the direction we're going to the Bahamas, so it is what it is. I'm going to bring you guys along with us though. I'm out of breath. It's time to roll. Sadie, time to stay tuned. No? All right, she's a little cranky. She got up early today. Here There's we go. There's a little more room in here. There's a little Plenty more room. room. We're pretty full. Here. What are you talking about? Fit All right. Way more. One hatch has a little more room left in it. So here we go, you guys. We'll see you on the way. Hang on, it's gonna be bumpy. Sadie's gonna pass out. She's got the adrenaline high going. <laughs> so basically, here's what we gotta do. We're leaving. Alan Rada right now. We've got to run all the way over here, straight into the wind. By South Riding Rocks right there. Then we're gonna go come up here on the north side of Andros by the Berry Islands. And from there, we're gonna work our way up here to Luthra. And uh, that's where we're going, so it's all Luthra in here. We'll see you over there. It's a long run. I mean, from right here to right there, we're pretty close. We're gonna go 225 miles, so you can see that. All right, a lot of work to get to this point. Hopefully we're ready. If we don't have it, we'll realize it soon. Here we go. We 
just got the new boat. We're still trying to dial it all in. It's a little different than a 37. We're gonna open up the ballast tanks and we're going straight into the sea. We have to make sure the ballots are all open, so. Oh, I found it. Okay, which way? Which way? Open or closed? I hear. It doesn't go that way. Okay, open. Got it. Got it, right, I got it. So we're only getting 0.7 miles per gallon now. That's because we are really heavy. The boat is absolutely loaded to the brim. It is heavy, guys. We're making 24 knots. We're gonna bump it up some, but it's gonna be four to six foot seas out here, so we're definitely ain't gonna be running 35 knots of that. Straight into it. I don't care what kind of boat you're on. My six foot is different than a lot of people's six foot seas. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! No pilot! So we're making 30 knots, we're burning some fuel. Here we go, we're only getting 0.6 miles per gallon. I was hoping to see 0.7, but uh, we're happy like... I mean, we got 800 gallons of fuel, 40 gallons of water, 250 pounds of bait. We got so much luggage in bags, we got some big egos on here, we got it all, so here we go. Alrighty, so we're just taking a break here. 1,360 feet. This is kind of where we swordfish, actually. It is uh, pretty much blowing 15, 18 knots still. Pretty choppy. Averaging about 23 to 25 knots. Hit a few good waves. I jumped up and hit my head on the roof when we were dancing when the music came on. It kind of hurt because the top of the hat hit my head. Yeah, nothing to it, man. Nothing broke. You want to put it on a zip tie? Are you worried about it? Um, we'll put it on when we get there. Let's test it now. Let's just get it when we get there, right? Let's just put it in the hat somewhere, okay? Got it. The girls say the bean bags are the best thing here. So we got the easy riders. So we had some new ones in the closet there. Much comfortable. Much more comfortable. Hi, Claire. Going to the Bahamas. Jeff wants to see if he can ride on the bow up there. Here we go. We're going to find out. Stand by. Almost. Yeah, he's like, nope. I've, I've ridden on enough boats. Do you know better? To know how that's going to end, yeah. Show you what we've done so far. We burned 62 gallons of fuel so far. We've gone 38 miles. We still got to go 48 miles to the bank. And that's the edge of the bank there and should get calmer hopefully once we hit that, so. The 37 to the 42, the 37 is great. 42 is a beast. So we're heavy, we're heavy as a, as a hippo. We're loaded down to the gills. But uh, unbelievable that we're running 25 knots right now. We'll check back in a couple hours. We gotta go 47 miles, so about two more hours in the bank. Here we go. All right, so the valves were open to the live well. We've made it like 60 miles so far. It's full of chummy water, because we didn't have any more room in the coolers for chum, so we put it in the bucket. Oh yeah, nice and chummy. There you go. There you go. So there's nasty chum in this live all over the hose. At least our dive gear's not in there. We're pumping them out. Once they're pumped out, we're gonna keep on going. So we're making 30 knots now. Went down like two to three occasional four footer. Nice white cap chop, we're getting it. Only got 21 more miles of the bank right there. We're getting closer by the minute. So we're about to hit the Bahama Bank here. Just below Riding Rocks. Making 36 and a half, 37 knots right now. Seeds calmed down, it was you know, 
It's definitely a rough and a golf stream, but uh, Helen's got the girl in the back. Everyone's hanging on. We're gonna run by the Berry Islands, you know, close to Chub K. Go by Northwest Channel. I'll show you up there. That's a recommended route on the sim right here. That pink dotted line, so that's a recommended route. We're gonna run that. All the way up here, through here, right there. So, we got 57 miles to go to Northwest Seoul. So, Josh is gonna use you too. <laughs> Sarah, so we gotta stop. Time to change the diapers on the baby. Fresh diaper. We'll see how she looks back there. Helen's got them under control. But check this water out. We're in the Bahamas, nice and clear. And we gotta, we're not gonna fish to be clear, and we gotta clear in first, check in with immigration and customs, all that. But here you go, beautiful. And uh, it's gonna be a fun trip. No, it won't be as serious fishing as some of our other trips. We're definitely gonna fish, but uh, this will be a venture for the family. Life is changing, times are changing. Here we go. Thank you for tuning in. Appreciate that. Claire's first crossing to the Bahamas. I guess Sadie's first crossing too. Sadie, excited? Yeah, you want to have some fun? Tech department in Want to go to the Bahamas? How'd they behave back there? It was awesome. Yeah, they good? It was awesome. We're taking a lunch break. They got the peanut butter and jellies going, and uh, they we're going to make some turkey wraps. So we're making 41 knots. We're going to buy a commercial boat up here. We're on the bank. We're getting close to Northwest Shoal there, Northwest Light. We'll be passing the Berry Island soon. You can see the commercial boat right there. I'm probably fishing a lobster. I suppose they're lobster right now. I try. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't eat that whole thing. Can you be part Just of it? Bring it, bring it. Bring it. All right, we, <laughs> we stopped. The girls had to go to the bathroom. We got cookies though. Look at my hair. 40 knots. Look at that hair. Sadie, do you want some cookie? Yeah. All righty, we're going to be to customs within about 20 minutes of closing. I don't know if we're going to make it or not. It'll be close, but we'll see. What is this? On the ocean. we got to go all the way over here still. we got to go 82 miles. So we're about to enter the tongue of the ocean. Frank thought we were almost there. So nope, we got 90 more miles to go. we got a falling tide. As you can see, it's choppy up here. We ain't gonna make it by five. Yeah. I don't know, man. I was looking out two miles ago and I was like, well, there's the island. And all it was was white caps. <laughs> oh, Lord. So if you can see that over there, that's Chub K, which is part of the Berry Islands. This is where we're running by now. Then we gotta go all the way over here. Up here to Eleuthera. We're gonna go through Spanish Wells, around that, and down by Harbor Island. We got, uh, what do we got? How many miles? We gotta go 56 miles to the eight cut there, and still another 15, 18 miles from there, so. We're trying to make it to customs by five. It's gonna be really close. I don't know if we're gonna make it or not, but uh, we'll see. So far we burned 282 gallons. We've got 179 miles right there. And with this heavy load, you know, we're only getting 0.6 to 0.7 miles per gallon. 0.6 most of the time. But once we lighten up, get all this stuff up here, it'll be a lot better. Close to Luther now. We're running a little late. We called customs. Hopefully they're gonna steal a little extra force. Have to give a little bit bigger tip. But uh should get there just after 5 p.m., maybe 5.20 it looks like. Here we go, gotta go through the devil's backbone, it's a really shallow area, a lot of coral heads everywhere. They spark pretty good, but we really gotta pay attention and be careful. We don't want to run aground in the new boat, so here we go, we're gonna go check Jeff's place out. I don't know if we'll get there today. We may just go to the dock in the other house we're staying at. But uh, we got some adventures coming your way. 
Hope you enjoyed that ride so far. So far we burned 381 gallons, about 244 miles. So we burned some fuel today. It was rough though, ready to head sea. So we're about to enter the devil's backbone. It's a scary place here in Eleuthera, but uh, we're just gonna follow that recommended route, the little pink dotted line, and hopefully be safe here. Almost there. So we didn't meet customers at the government dock. They're gonna meet us here at the marina. Passing by Valentine's, but we're headed to Remora Bay. And it's gonna be a uh, home base and we're gonna go check Jeff's place out soon. Tomorrow probably though. Sailing with Jocelyn over there. <laughs> we're gonna slip 23. Here we go. Great. I made it all day on you guys. I thought you got lost or something. We had to stop, we had to take pee breaks. All right. So we made it to Harbor Island. It was a long, rough ride, but the girls did amazingly well. Good job, kiddos. Got a peep out of either one of them. They did really well. The Josh, this first time in Eleuthera. The adults complained way more. This might be your first time here too, huh? Yeah, I've never been to Harbor Island. So we're coming up, go eat some appetizers, get some food going, and uh, the adventure will continue. So hope you guys enjoyed that ride. Hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Check out Jocelyn's channel. She's just starting. And uh, we'll link that below, so here we go. Here we go, Jeff. I thought that rainbow was coming in there. Yeah, look at the rainbow. Oh, rainbow. Nobody likes rainbows. Pretty water here.